uh, with shoulder capsule stretch, I like. We could do it from standing up, and it's pretty intense for the people, but there's a lot of benefit to it. So let's turn around, show everyone what, how much motion you have behind your, why don't you all come kind of over here, yeah? Reach behind, so that's his left shoulder. Let's go to the other side. All right, so he's got more on his right shoulder, obviously. So we're gonna use the left shoulder here. Go ahead, let's see again. All right, so that's where it is. So now I need a door frame. Will you be the door frame for me? So he's gonna reach back and he's gonna grab the door frame right here, okay? No, you're just, he's just gonna grab the door frame. I, I don't want him across midline. So notice he's across midline. Okay, and I'm gonna have you lower your hand a little bit because I don't want him in end range. So what I'm gonna do is position his shoulder complex into a neutral-ish, and then I'm gonna have him drive his body on, a, on his shoulder to create tension through all of this. It's pretty intense, okay? So notice that as, as he brings his hand up a little, his shoulder blade starts to kind of tilt and come off. So I'm gonna find sort of that position. What I'm gonna do, here's his shoulder blade right here. I'm gonna put my, bottom, uh, my back hand on the inferior lateral angle right here. I'm gonna put my front of the hand right on the anterior of the shoulder. My elbow, my forearm is gonna block his elbow. If my forearm doesn't block his elbow and I go ahead and put him into a neutral, you see how he just kind of dumped and so he chicken winged his elbow. That's, that's, if the fact that he dumped into his spine, that tells me we've got too much tension already, so I'm gonna lower it a little. Okay, but when I put him into that position, you see how his elbow kind of goes back. I don't want that, I wanna keep it, so I'm gonna block right here. This is intense, you ready? Yeah, it hurts. Right. So if it hurts, then I need to back it out because I want to put him, if I, <laughs> I'm gonna drive motion. If he's at his end range, I can't drive motion in without like freaking him out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna come from below and sort of lift his entire complex and put it in the position that I want. So I'm gonna lift, set it where I want. Now I'm, you, you feel a slight stretch there? Yep. Are you breathing? I am. All right, so I'm gonna have him start <laughs> driving his head in three planes of motion. Okay, so I'm gonna let go for a second. If he looks up right now, go ahead and look up, his shoulder blade relative to that is tilting forward, yeah? When he looks down, shoulder blade relative is pointing, is tilting backward. When he drives his hips to the right, his shoulder blade relative to that is downwardly rotating. When he takes his hips to the left, his hip, shoulder blades upwardly rotate. When he looks relaxed on your shoulder, his, look over your right shoulder. His shoulder blade wants to internally rotate. When he looks over his left shoulder, his shoulder blade wants to externally rotate, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is position his shoulder blade and drive his body like I just did, but I'm gonna take his shoulder blade in the opposite direction and apply an opposite force to it. So I'm gonna get him positioned, okay? And he's gonna look up. Shoulder blade wants to move forward. I'm gonna tilt it backwards as he does it. So we're gonna do it three times. So go ahead, one, two, Three, good, he's gonna look forward now. Now he's gonna drive his hips to the right. His shoulder blades wants to downwardly rotate. Don't do anything with your head yet. He's oh, okay. His shoulder blades wants to downwardly rotate, so I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna give it an upwardly rotation. Drive your hips to the right. One, two, three. If I forget which one, drive your hips to the left. I'm just gonna go opposite. One, two, three. Look over your right shoulder. One, <laughs> two, three. Doesn't like that. Okay, but he feels a nice big stretch there. And then if we let go here for a second, and we go ahead and do that, yeah, it feels intense. But now if he brings his arm back up behind him, he's theoretically would have been. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, Come this on. is structural time. It would have been, it's tight, it's fatiguing. It's really fatiguing. Okay, but that's the process right there. Let me do that on one other person so we can get that. Who's got a tight shoulder complex? Come on up. Somebody be the door frame. Yeah, somebody be the door frame if you would. So let's turn around. Put your hand behind your back like you're taking your bra off. Okay, let's see the other side. I thought that was funny, guys, no? All right, other side again. So left one is, it's a little tighter. Okay, so you can see how his whole shoulder blade sort of does that, but on the, relax. On the other side, go ahead on the other side. It doesn't necessarily go as far. So go ahead and reach back behind with this. Grab the door frame. You guys move forward. This way? Yeah, and forward. Forwards is relative, this is backwards for me. So. All right, so he's, if I, uh, again, the progression is not across his back, the progression is up his spine. But if I put him right here, if I grab him and put him there, notice how he kind of escapes because it's too much for him. He goes uh, energetically. So we need to lower his hand slightly. I'm gonna lift him, elbow blocks his, forearm blocks his elbow. I'm gonna put him into this position. Okay, we got a little bit more motion here, yeah. And I know Joe, so I'm not worried if I hurt him. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so we've got, I've got him blocked right here. We're sort of at his threshold. I want to sort of find his threshold. So if he looks up to the ceiling three times, I'm going to posteriorly tilt. One, two, 
three, okay? If he drives his hips towards uh, the left, sorry, right, I'm gonna upwardly rotate. One, two, three. Look over your uh, right shoulder. One, back to neutral, do it three times. Two, three. I could have him do all the motions at once. I can have him look up to his right and slide his hips to, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, go ahead and relax. Take that hand all the way up again. Oh yeah, huge difference. I don't know if there was or not, but you get the idea. <laughs> and then the homework for that, a couple of them. One is to be, like if he's the door frame now, relax. Belt buckle, like thumb in the belt buckle. Everyone in Wisconsin wears jeans, right? So we could, I thought that was funny again. But <laughs> if this is a door frame, I could block my elbow. I could block my elbow in the door frame, stand really tall, and I can start driving my, my body in different positions, that kind of thing. So that's a lot of kind of how I'll progress this. If, if they're uh, working from this, I'm going to be up as high as I can, higher up if I grab a door frame and I don't have a belt buckle. I could just need to adjust differently. Okay, so that's the homework. Questions on that? Let's practice this. Thanks. Oh.